everyone, I'm Sarah. I am the pastor of worship ministries at Grace Community Church, and this is my husband, Tim. We have just been on this journey this last year in um, a couple things, and we just wanted to bring you this encouragement, and this, the encouragement is about unity. Well, um, in July, we celebrated 12 years, and we were able to kind of escape for a day literally 24 hours to, to just escape our house from being in quarantine to just be with one another. And in that time together, we were able to um, really reflect on the, the years we've been married and then we try to come up with a word for the next year of marriage. And this year we decided to choose the, the word unity. And I'll let Tim talk more about that and um, but it has been a challenge for sure to stick to that word and to implement it into our family into our um, our world really so yeah obviously we're living in a time that uh, unity is not the, the the thing that is really happening in a lot of different scenarios right now uh, it's something that's deeply needed um, but I know even for us in in the midst of uh, COVID and lockdown and all these things when you're together a whole lot, uh, at least for us, we do projects. And with projects, unity is not the word that we would describe <laughs> how, we, how we operate things. So um, we, we committed to one another that we want to do better. Uh, and so we committed our time and our energy to figuring out how we can do better. Um, and I think the Lord really showed us that uh, unity for us is first and foremost unity in Him and unity in the purpose of, of what, what He's put us together for. Um, to raise our wonderful sons, to, to serve and love one another, uh, and to overflow and serve others uh, through the unity that, that we have. Um, and just a quick piece of scripture that we wanted to share. Um, Ephesians 4 says this, it, it says, Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. Uh, peace is sometimes hard to come by. Um, but uh, the verse right before, is the, before that talks about um, being patient with each other and humility. Uh, so that's a huge piece for both of us. So if anything, we want to encourage you all out there, if, if you feel any sort of uh, disunity, whether it be within your family, um, within the world, uh, just understand that God has called us and surrounds us uh, with people and, and churches and um, His Spirit uh, to bring unity through peace. So uh, we hope that is something that you can hold on to like we're trying to hold on to. It's not a perfect process, um, but praise God for his grace and uh, his presence within that. That's right. So we hope you feel encouraged and to be unified. Like Tim said, whether it's in your family, your community, or, or your workplace, wherever you are, we must seek God first to be able to be unified to him and to be unified to one another. We wish you a blessed day and uh, love you all. Bye.